In the last lesson, we learnt how to use Layer Mask to improve our workflow in Photoshop to be non-destructive. Let's now use Layer Mask to improve our workflow by adding in some sand, dirt and some other textures and materials to our Photoshop site plan. If you'd like to watch all the other 40 plus lessons available as well as gain access to all the course files and 50 bonus textures and PNG trees you can use for your own site plans, check out the full Photoshop site course on my website. The link is down in the description below. So what we can then do is we're going to create the opacity to this. We're going to set this to 20% and we're going to just start drawing in some of those spots that we want to add a bit of dirt. If we were to turn this opacity back up, you can see that we've just added a bit of dirt to this selection here. What I'm going to do is just drop this opacity back down. We can just start to draw in a bit of dirt around the place maybe around some of the buildings, that can make it look pretty good. You can change the opacity of your brush if you want, and this is going to make the effects of the dirt a little bit less. As you can see, if we turn the opacity back up off this layer, you can see that I was using a 20% brush and just adding in little bits of dirt around the place. But then obviously if you drop the whole opacity of it all, you can barely see some of those other things. So I'm going to make sure my brush is still on 100% opacity. And if you want to, you know, then get rid of some of these things, you made a mistake. You don't want that bit there to be dirt. What you can do is actually then switch by pressing X. You can switch to a black color and you can turn off and get rid of some of those bits. So I'm going to just continue to draw around the place. I'm going to draw in a bit of dirt, maybe around some of the buildings here, some of the contours. I'm just going to add in a bit of dirt. Make it look pretty good, drop the opacity of it to 20% and there you go, now we've added in a bit of dirt. And we can do this with a few other layers as well, not just dirt. If we wanted to, we could then add in a bit of grass, a bit of longer grass. So I'm going to make sure this covers the entire image again. I'm just going to do this very roughly, just for example's sake. I'm going to group this all again and make sure it's all under the name grass. I'm going to create a layer mask on this grass layer. I'm going to invert that layer mask so it disappears. I'm going to actually turn down the opacity to 20%. I'm going to use the brush tool with the layer mask selected. I'm going to make it white so that anything appears. And then you can just start to paint in maybe around some of the corners. You can paint in some of the grass around the place. Just give it a little bit of depth and a bit more detail to your drawing. As you can see, the boundaries on this is a little bit too defined, a little bit too hard. So what you can do is undo that and then you can drop the hardness of the brush and make it a little bit softer. And this just gives it a little less defined edge. And what you can do is then just add in grass around wherever you find it necessary. I still think that this is too obvious that that's just some random grass texture. It's a little bit too big, obviously. So I'm going to change the layer to have a different effect on it. So I'm thinking we're going to try to find something that looks kind of good. And it's just a matter of experimenting with any of these masks. Hmm, the lighter color, I kind of like. The overlay looks pretty good, actually. Soft light, I think that's the most subtle, so I'm going to use the soft light. Then as you can see, if we turn on and off this layer, it's got a very subtle effect, but it still makes it look a lot more detailed. If you wanted to then, you could then bring in some sand, and I'm just going to create some sand around this area here, because if we turn on the Google Earth image to 100%, I'm just going to actually drop, put this over the top of all the layers. You can see there's a bit of sand around the place, so I'm just going to hide that one again, and I'm going to turn this one back down to 15%. I don't have to touch this one again, so I'm going to need to lock that because we've got this layer here, which we can turn on and off. So let's have a play around with this sand. I'm going to just drag this one around the place. We're going to group all of them. We're going to call that sand. And it's the same process. We're going to add a layer mask. We're going to control I to invert that selection. We're going to use the brush tool on white and we're going to start painting in some of these areas. We're going to make sure that our hardness isn't so hard as before. And let's have a play around. Let's, uh, let's add some sand to around here. And as you can see that it's got cut off over here because that's where the texture ends. So I'm not going to go against that boundary. If you wanted to, you could add the sand layer to the whole thing. 
but I'm not too fussed. I'm just going to have a play around. Might bring up this brush size. Add some sand. Add some sand. Not over there. Perhaps just like that. I'm going to drop this down to 20%. Might even add this as a overlay was not bad. Hard light. Mm, some of these aren't great. It's just a matter of playing around with these. I might just lighten that one up. That's got a little bit more detail again. This is starting to look really good. What is next? Let's find out what's next. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to add in some trees to your Photoshop site plan. And I will see you there.